So you're trying to get your first pull-up, or maybe you're trying to improve the amount of pull-ups you can do. This is no easy task, because when it comes to vertical pulling, there are not many options we got. If we're trying to improve a squat, I can do a leg press, I can do a hack squat, I can improve bilateral leg strength that will hopefully translate to improving a squat. But when it comes to pulling your body vertically, there are not many options outside of a lat pull-down or some sort of cable or band attachment. We need to vertically pull, and I think there are two directions we can go with this. So if you're truly starting out at step number one, we obviously need to be able to get overhead and hold our body weight overhead. So starting with something like a dead hang for time is a great way to start improving these traits. From here, I'm just gonna hold this position, let my body weight hang. I'm still staying tight, I'm staying active through my core, squeezing my abs, holding this body position. I can do this for time, starting with 10 seconds and then trying to improve to 20 to 30. From there, I really like isometrics. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna jump up to a 90 degree position. So if I'm gonna go with an overhand pull-up position, pretty traditional, I'm just gonna jump up so I'm holding a 90 degree bend with my arm and I'm gonna hold that for as long as I can. And then once I can't hold it anymore, then I'm gonna slowly start fighting my way through that eccentric. I'll give you an example. We're gonna jump up, hold this 90 degrees. I'm staying tight through my core, tight through my abdomen. And once I feel like I can't hold this anymore, then I'm gonna slowly start drifting down. That's one rep. I'm gonna repeat that for maybe three, four, five times. As many as you can, quite honestly, as long as you can hold that isometric for a couple seconds, there's still value there in my opinion. Now, I think that puts a lot of time under tension on the lats to hold that body position for that pull-up. From there, we can advance to a pure eccentric. So we're jumping up, getting our eyes above the bar. I don't really like to go too high. I think it puts the shoulder in a weird spot. So unless you're getting ready for a PT test, I'm probably gonna start eye level with the bar no matter what, moving our way up. And then I'm just gonna slowly control my body weight on the way down. This is a cool way that you can program it when it comes to tempos. Hey, I want a five second descent seven second descent, and then you can control how much time you're under tension, because if you can control the way down, theoretically, the better you get at that sort of position, we should be able to pull our body weight up. We're just gonna be in that same pull-up position, jumping up, eyes level with the bar, and then slowly controlling that tempo all the way down, making sure we're staying active and tight through our core and keeping that tension, that tempo constantly down. You can program that with a five second drop, seven second drop. Maybe that's how you program it to be longer under time under tension. We're trying to improve the eccentric portion or the isometric portion of the pull-ups so that we can concentrically pull our body weight up. After we've built up that eccentric portion and held those isometrics, built that time under tension, kind of increased the load that you can hold controlling those tempos, I think then we start to work towards the concentric portion. I'm gonna use a band here if you have access to one of those pull-up machines. If you're at a commercial gym, that's a great alternative as well. But from here, I'm gonna go from this top end you can also hook the band up across these hooks so it's just on your feet and not wrapped around your feet. So you're not worried about the band coming up and popping you. But from here, I'm really gonna focus now on that concentric portion. So I'm gonna regain that tightness, no different than we started with that dead hang. And from here, I'm gonna think about slowly controlling up, eyes at the level of the bar, and then slowly down. Controlling up, slowly down. I like the band because there's some accommodated resistance, so it's helping you at the point that you need the most help. So it's gonna give you the most help at the bottom when the band is stretched out the furthest. We can progress this no different than the others. I can do reps here though. So maybe I start out with three, five reps, maybe then I go to seven, 10, whatever it is, and the goal would be to not need the band and then work the purely body weight pull-ups. So that's looking at the pull-up and developing that pull-up from a traditional extended spine position. When you start to work a lot with the athletes and military people I work with, there's a lot of issues getting overhead. So being in that extended spine position, worrying about the rib cage flaring up as we get overhead, owning that overhead position with good technique, I really like this lower bar setup. I used to look at this as purely as a regression for people that could not do pull-ups, but now I look at it as a way to progress our ability to be strong and powerful overhead. So from a pure regression standpoint, I'm gonna have the bar set up on the hooks, and I'm gonna have my feet kind of underneath me, trying to keep my posture as upright as possible, and I'm gonna help myself get into this concentric portion of this pull-up. So I'm gonna kind of use my legs to help me, use my legs to kind of help me work through this range of motion. This is pretty low-level regression. So what, from here, I'm using my legs, then I can try to use my legs less, 
I can work on holding that isometric no different than I did in the other setup. I can work on a tempo from an eccentric standpoint. But once I can own this position with my feet on the ground, then I want to elevate my feet. So I'm kind of in this pike position with my feet elevated. And then from here, I can't really now work, I can't isolate the concentric like I did with the band standing or by using my feet, but it allows me to really focus on that isometric and the eccentric portion of this vertical pull. Pulling up, staying upright, holding that position, and then working on that eccentric control. For my people that are really trying to improve their vertical pulling capabilities, I can stack plates on their waist, whatever it is, because it's a pretty comfortable position to be in, and as well, I can fail, because I can take my hips all the way to the ground and reset. Those are two different directions you can take your pull-ups, whether it's getting your first one or developing your capacity to perform more pull-ups. But honestly, the only way you're gonna get better at pull-ups is by doing them, doing more of them, getting smart with it though, thinking about volume. How can you improve the time under tension? So improving your grip, improving your capability to be slow and controlled overhead, and then obviously improving your ability to pull up to the bar. Hope those help.